cacao is where chocolate comes from and everyone loves chocolate. So I figured I want to write a book and illustrate a book about how my grandfather harvested and prepared cacao beans to send to chocolate factories for us to have chocolate. And the story talks about what he did every day to harvest the cacao beans, dry them in the sun, get them ready to be sent off for chocolate making. And I thought this would be a great book to show children where chocolate comes from. But I'm also sharing my family story inspired by my father's memories of growing up in the Ivory Coast with his father and following his father through the bush to the cacao farm, cutting down the cacao pods from the trees with the machete, cutting them open, scooping out all the beans, letting them ferment underground, laying them out in the sun to dry. I'm trying to share the difficult backbreaking process that farmers do all around the world so that we can have this commodity that we take for granted, which is chocolate. The story follows a little girl and her dad in the current day, which are really my dad and myself, in the kitchen baking a chocolate cake. And as they add the different elements of the chocolate cake into the bowl, the father is recounting what he witnessed with his father on the farm in Africa. So the illustrations for Grandpa Cacao are a combination of painting and collage for the little girl and silkscreen for the scenes where Grandpa in Africa is going through the process of what he does to harvest. So I'm trying to tell two stories on one page, the story of the past or what the farmer did with white silkscreen and the story of what we do today, which is making wonderful chocolate cakes and goodies with painting and collage. I've been lucky to kind of use my childhood inspiration growing up in a hot tropical place with vibrant colors and patterns and using that kind of as the background for the inspiration to the illustrations that I create for all of my work.